When you look at my face here, you don't see any separation of the makeup, even after hours of wearing the makeup. In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys why your makeup might be separating and how to avoid it. So the main reason why makeup separates is because of the texture of our skin underneath the makeup. So when your skin is too oily or it's too dry, the makeup doesn't really sit well on the surface of the skin. People tend to think that if you have dry skin, all you need is an oil-based foundation to help balance the dryness. And if you have oily skin, then all you need is a matte foundation foundation to help balance the oils on the skin but that is not the case the lack of hydration on your skin can cause the makeup to settle on the creases and the makeup will stay creased because the skin texture is too dry if you have oily skin the lack of hydration can cause your skin to overproduce oils and your makeup can get really slippery and then it will start moving on your skin causing that separation so the makeup separates on both skin types because of the lack of hydration so the solution to both skin problems is to keep the skin at a balance so if your skin is too oily you need to bring it down and if it's too dry you need to bring it up so first you want to start by exfoliating your skin because it's gonna get rid of the dead skin cells the oils and all the impurities that are on the surface of the skin that prevent our skin from receiving the hydration it needs from the moisturizer then you want to go in with the moisturizers and the serum and you want to stick to using hydrating moisturizers because our skin is really ready to absorb the hydration once you've applied all this you want to wait 15 minutes before applying your makeup to allow our skin enough time to absorb the hydration so if you have oily skin I would recommend a serum that is oil free and hydrating at the same time the two that I love is by naked and thriving which are the protect serum so this is good for during the day and the renew serum which is really good for the night so naked and thriving is a clean skincare brand that contains all natural and organic ingredients so the day serum which is a protect serum it really helps to hydrate and protect your skin from the environment and it contains hyaluronic acid and other natural ingredients and then the night serum which is the renew serum it really helps to exfoliate the skin to remove dead skin cells and hydrate your skin all throughout the night and if you have dry skin then serums with oils are great but make sure the oils are those that don't clog your pores so for dry skin I would recommend the prevent face oil for during the day because it contains oils that help to lock in moisture without clogging your pores and the the rejuvenating face oil is good for nighttime because it also contains like oils that help to nourish damaged skin tissues so use the link in the description box down below and get naked and thriving deluxe mini with the purchase of any full-size product and the brand is currently running a 15% off their entire website as part of their Mother's Day sale and a big thank you to naked and thriving for sponsoring this part of today's video so as you can see my skin looks really moisturized and healthy after using the serum I have dry skin so so I usually use the prevent face oil before I apply my moisturizer so once you've applied the serum you just want to moisturize and prime your skin and I'm gonna use this Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base this is good for all skin types and it's a really good moisturizer and primer at the same time so next before applying makeup you have to understand which products can be paired up together to help prevent the makeup separation so depending on your skin type you want to use products that help to give your skin a balance so if you have oily skin then your makeup might separate around your nose area the most because the area can get really really oily so you want to use a mattifying primer around that area to help prevent the oils from peeking through but you also have to know which foundation pairs really well with a mattifying primer so most mattifying primers are usually silicone based so they usually contain ingredients such as dimethicone or sometimes cyclopentasiloxane so if you're using primers that contain these ingredients you also want to pair it up with the foundation with the same ingredients I typically don't encourage people to use a lot of silicone based products because they can eventually clog your pores which in the long run can end up causing acne so I would say just use it in moderation what I would encourage you to use as well is silicone free primers that also help mattify your skin one of them is this cover effects mattifying booster drops this one does not contain any silicones but it really helps to mattify your skin Skin. so if you have dry skin then your makeup might separate around the areas that crease a lot so those are usually like your laugh lines around your nose area and sometimes
sometimes even your under eyes because the dryness of the skin causes the makeup to separate around those crease areas and they don't move because our skin is too dry so you want to select primers and foundations that pair up really well together to help lock in moisture all throughout the day so your skin does not get dry for instance the NYX bear with me primer is really good for dry skin because it helps to lock in moisture and it pairs up really well together with the rare beauty foundation because this is also an oil based foundation so when applying cream products you always want to build up the coverage on your skin because remember less is more the less product you use on your skin the less likely it will separate after applying primer I like to wait one minute before applying the foundation to make sure that my skin is absorbing the moisture then I always like to go in with one pump of foundation and build up the coverage as I go to make sure I'm not using too much if I'm satisfied with the coverage then I apply concealer the exact same way making sure that I'm not applying more than my skin needs this will prevent your skin from suffocating and it will allow your skin to breathe during the day and won't separate so if your makeup tends to separate around your nose area you want to place the least amount of product around that area because the less makeup you apply there the less it will move and if your makeup tends to separate around your mouth area such as like laugh lines then you want to place the least amount of foundation around that area so next you want to finish your skin off with setting powder and I'm using the makeup forever ultra HD setting powder so you want to use an oil absorbing setting powder to absorb all the oils from the cream product to make sure that your liquid products are locked in and they don't move around your skin this will prevent your makeup from separating throughout the day and will lock in all that makeup and make it last long and you also have to know what kind of makeup products you would need in order for you to create a flawless makeup look that won't separate that's why you really have to watch this video right here because in this video I go over all the products that you would need in order to create that flawless makeup look KLJ welcome to a channel where it's popping